In this video, we'll be discussing your first steps when using Keyword Researcher. This is an important video because it contains a lot of key information that you'll need to understand before and while you're using the app. For us as SEO guys, it's very important to be familiar with what I call the six foundational steps of SEO. Now, if you go over to the Keyword Researcher website, you can actually find these steps listed here as well, and there is some more information about each one, as well as a little animated presentation about how Keyword Researcher solves this issue. But we're going to go over each step very briefly right here as well. So recall that our primary goal in SEO, in search engine optimization, is to optimize our website for the search engines, namely Google. So people in the world type keywords into Google and we hope that these people will land on our website. So our first goal in SEO is to discover or import the keywords that these people are actually typing in to their web browser. So as you're probably aware, there are many, many, many tools for sale on the web that help you with this step one, discovering and importing keywords. And of course my app, Keyword Researcher, is one of these tools. It helps you find, import, and discover keywords, and that is step one. But a lot of people never get much beyond step one because there are actually several other steps after that. And without the right tools, many of these steps can be quite tedious. For example, in step two, you have to remove the bad keywords. These are the keywords that you do not want on your website. It's pretty easy to just make a large list of keywords, but when you actually go to work with this list of keywords, then it becomes apparent very fast that your list will contain thousands, if not millions of words that you do not need for your website. So developing clever functions to remove the junk keywords, the keywords that you don't want, that can be pretty tricky and that's another thing that Keyword Researcher helps you with. In step three, you have to find various ways to find the good keywords. These are the keywords that you do want on your website and Keyword Researcher comes with built-in functions to help you with that. And then in step four, you have to organize these keywords into logical article groups. Because if you have one page on your website talking about both cameras and kittens, well, that's not a very logical group. So combining your keywords into logical clusters and focusing on that cluster with your given web page is, of course, a big part of SEO on-page optimization. And Keyword Researcher helps you with this step as well. Keyword Researcher also allows you to create content in the app, and the app will tell you if your keywords exist in the article content or not. And then, when your content is all done, you can export it to WordPress if you want. So again, these are the very simple six foundational steps of SEO. No matter what happens in the future of SEO, or no matter what new tools come out, you still need to be comfortable with these six steps. Primarily, this can be summed up as just seeing what your potential customers or potential visitors are typing into Google, and then making sure your content, your web page content, reflects their desired searches. That is SEO in a nutshell. So now let's talk about the first part of this process, discover. How do we discover keywords? So one way to discover keywords is just to see what keywords pop up in Google Autocomplete. So as you type sentences into Google Autocomplete, like how to fix a something, then you'll get lots of keywords that pop up in the drop-down box. And of course, if you start typing letters after this sentence, after this phrase, then you'll get even more keywords as you type A, B, C, D, E. Obviously, as we keep going through the alphabet, we keep discovering more and more keywords. And this is the realization that is very valuable, and this was the inspiration behind the original construction of Keyword Researcher. Because when you're using the Google component, this is what Keyword Researcher does. It replaces the asterisk with various letters of the alphabet and simply saves the result. So let's go ahead and start up Keyword Researcher now. 
So we have Keyword Researcher running on our computer and I'm just going to start a new project. And here we are in our first blank project inside the app. So you recall in Google, we typed in how to fix A and then we typed in various characters and this is all Keyword Researcher does. As we put an asterisk here, this tells the program where to put various letters of the alphabet and then we just hit the play button and Keyword Researcher will download the keywords from the internet as we can see it doing on the bottom of your screen right now. And of course, the trial version will only search part of the alphabet, but if you decide to purchase Keyword Researcher, then you can log in with your email address that you used at purchase. I'm gonna use my Clever Gizmos email address and click register. And we've just converted the app from trial mode to full mode. In full mode, you're able to save your project and more importantly, in the full mode, you'll notice that you can search the complete alphabet A through Z. Again, the trial mode only lets you search A through H, but in the full mode, you can search the complete alphabet. So I'll go ahead and clear my search box and I'll clear the keywords we found previously. And I'll scoot my interface over a little bit to make some more room because at this point, what people usually do is they look at the idea panel here in the middle. And this is important because the idea panel will give you some ideas about what kind of keywords to type into the app. So if you had a camera website, then you could type the word camera here and the plural here, cameras, and then a city name like Los Angeles. And if you look down in the idea generator, you'll notice that the app has placed these keywords into various question queries for you to consider typing into the search box. And you can do that by simply clicking on the actual item, how asterisk camera, how to asterisk a camera. Questions are often very valuable. Why do cameras asterisk? Are cameras asterisk? And if we scroll down, we have the preposition for asterisk for cameras, asterisk for a camera, cameras for asterisk. So again, there are dozens of suggestions down here, including regional suggestions like Los Angeles camera asterisk. But I also encourage you to try to come up with your own phrases to type into the search box here because nobody knows your customers more than you do. You have to think about what somebody who wants to get to your website, what would that person be typing into Google? Try to think of all the possible words that person might be looking for, and then try to complete that person's sentence with the asterisk. And once you have a few keyword ideas, then hit the play button and let Keyword Researcher find these keywords for your website. If I put the keyword box up, we can see the app working. But for this tutorial, I'm not gonna let it go all the way through. I'm just going to stop it right now. And we'll examine some of our keywords briefly. And we can see lots of camera keywords in our keyword grid. Now, if I want to get search volume data for these keywords, if I want to run these keywords through the Google Keyword Planner, all I have to do is click the Copy to Clipboard button and then start up the Google Keyword Planner. So here I am in the Google Keyword Planner and I'll just click on the Get Search Volume Data button and paste my keywords and go. And here we are, the Google Keyword Planner. These are my keywords and I'm just gonna click the Download button to save my Excel CSV to my hard drive. And so now we have our new Google Keyword Planner CSV saved to our hard drive, and we want to bring that into our app. So we come back to Keyword Researcher, and we see we have this Import Google CSV Files button, and I just simply drag and drop my CSV file into Keyword Researcher. And if you look below, you'll notice that we now have the average multi-searches, the search volume column, for our keywords. 
everything is in what we call the temporary grid because this is the grid you use for importing keywords into your project. This the actual project gr keyword grid is here on the left. And it's good to have two grids because you can decide to delete keywords in the temporary keyword grid before you actually move them into your project. For example, if I wanted to delete all these keywords, I can just right click on it and click delete. And of course, the keywords are gone. In this grid, you can also put keywords on the black list, the gray list, or the white list, which we'll discuss in a minute. But for now, I think I'm just going to move all of my keywords to my main project grid. Now let's take a moment to review our six foundational steps of SEO. Recall in step one, we used Google Autocomplete to discover new keywords. We also used the Google Keyword Planner to import new keywords. So now we're on step two. We have to remove the junk keywords. These are the keywords that we do not want on our website. And this is where Keyword Researcher is very, very useful. For example, let's say that we don't have any cameras for astrophotography. So we would hit the black button here and that makes it's so that this keyword, camera for astrophotography, this keyword is now on the blacklist. And that reminds us in the future that we do not want to target this keyword phrase on our website. Same thing for diving. Suppose we do not sell any diving cameras or we have no information about diving cameras. We might want to blacklist this one. Or let's say that we do not sell any cameras for documentaries. Then we can blacklist that one as well. So. The white list is for keywords that you do want on your website. The gray list is for keywords that you have not organized yet. And the black list is for keywords that you do not want on your website. And that's why these three swatches are so valuable because it very quickly allows you to sort and arrange and filter keywords that you do or do not want on your website. Again, white means you do want the keyword, gray means you haven't decided yet, and black means you do not want the keyword on your website. Or particularly, you do not want to generate content or sell products about that keyword phrase. And what about the next step, step number three? How do we search for the good keywords that we want to use on our website? And that's why Keyword Researcher comes with a lot of great search functions. If I right click on the keyword header, that I can see lots of search examples right here. You can see we can search for diet or exercise, diet and exercise, as well as many others. Now, these words diet and exercise are just examples. We have a camera website, so I might search for things like camera and computer. When I press enter, you'll notice that my grid has been filtered to only show me the phrases that have the word camera and have the word computer. So if my website had information or was selling cameras for computers, then these are the kind of keywords that I would be looking for. The next three steps in our SEO chart here are about organizing keywords and then getting the keywords into our article content and ultimately publishing the content to the web. And in Keyword Researcher, when you're ready to start actually making clusters, keyword clusters for your web content, we have this middle article tree here where you can arrange your content into categories and articles. So I'll start by naming our category computer cameras and our first web article here or web page. I'm going to call that PC cameras for your desktop applications. So again, this is just an example of a possible piece of article content that might be featured on a news website or even on a website that actually sells PC cameras. Again, this is just an example, but at this point, I can drag and drop my keyword phrases into this actual content article. And you'll see that Keyword Researcher has associated this article with these four keywords. And in this fashion, we can build an entire content strategy with Keyword Researcher. If you'd like to play with that more or to see a bigger, more filled out website, we have a demo 
when you first start up the app. So I'm going to click the home button. And you'll notice if you click this play button here, Keyword Researcher will load a sample project. This is a sample diet website. And if you open the article tree and click the expand button, then you'll see a website with lots of categories, articles, and lots of keywords already associated with it. And of course, the reason why we created this sample website is so that you can play with Keyword Researcher's functionality and see how keywords become associated in paragraphs, articles, and categories. And when you actually have an organized website structure like this, you can slide this over and click the Write Content tab, and then select one of the articles in the list. And we have some sample content here for the sample web page. This is about a healthy low carb diet article. Again, this is just a sample content. But what this shows you here is where are target keyword phrases, in this case, low carb diet. When you click the highlighter icon, you can see where this keyword phrase appears in our article content. And again, recall, the whole point of SEO is to get the keywords that people are typing into the internet. We want these keywords to be reflected in our article content. Again, this is step number five in our foundational steps. Ultimately, in some way, shape, or form, you have to get the keywords that people are typing into the internet. These keywords have to exist somewhere on your web page so that Googlebot can associate your web page with the sort of content that people are searching for when they type in these keywords. So if you click the instruction manual or click the various items here, we have other help videos which discuss this topic more in depth, but basically you use these tools in Keyword Researcher to try to get your keywords into the article contents of all the articles or web pages that you're laying out in the content strategy that you're developing here in the article tree in Keyword Researcher. And when everything is ready to go, the coolest thing is you can deploy all of your content to a WordPress website. Recall that this was step number six in our diagram, publish your content online. Now, if you don't use WordPress, you can, of course, just copy and paste to your website, or you can export to a Microsoft Excel or a CSV file. But if you do use WordPress, then you can click export here on the top and just select the export to a WordPress XML file here. And that will open a form where you can select the pages that you'd like to export. So we'll stop the little tutorial here for now. Again, if you want to see more videos about the various functions in Keyword Researcher, please visit the website or click the blue button here, the instruction manual button. When you click it, this should open your default web browser and you should get to the Keyword Researcher video help page, which contains many more videos about how to use Keyword Researcher. And if you have any questions at all, then please click the contact button at the top of the clevergizmos.com website and send us an email and we'll help you out. So that concludes our little keyword researcher demo. And I'd like to thank you for your interest in my software and thanks for visiting clevergizmos.com.